Assalamualaikum with me, Cikgu Azrini. Science Year 3, Unit 6 Measurement. So today, we are going to learn measuring the volume of a liquid. Okay kids, you can uh, refer your textbook, page 88. Measuring the volume of a liquid Lim, Langi and Aisha bought a carton of milk. They want to know whether the volume of the carton of milk is the same as the label on the carton. Okay, biasanya bila awak beli air kotak, dekat bawah tu dia dah ada tulis net volume. Uh, maybe 200 milliliters or 250 milliliters ataupun uh, 1 liter. Okay. Okay, let's look at the conversation between these uh, three friends. The volume of the carton of milk is uh, 200 milliliters. Uh, and then, his friend asks, is the volume exactly 200 milliliters? And Aisha said, let's measure it. Okay, first of all, we need to know the units for measuring volume of liquid. The first one, milliliter, or written as ml, and then liter, written as l. Okay, ni adalah dua unit yang digunakan untuk menyukat isi padu cercair. Okay, measuring volume of liquid. Liquid ialah cercair. So, we can use a uh, milliliter or liter. One liter equal to 1000 milliliters, right? One liter sama dengan 1000 milliliter. What are the suitable tools for measuring the volume of liquid? The volume of liquid can be measured using a measuring cylinder or a beaker. Okay, we can use beaker or measuring cylinder. So, let's see. Okay, this is measuring cylinder. Yang tinggi ni. Okay, measuring cylinder. Dan yang ni, beaker. Okay, we have uh, many sizes of the measuring cylinder and also the beaker. For example, here we have uh, 500 milliliters, 600, 800 and also 1000 milliliters. Okay, kita ada pelbagai size. Silinder penyukat dan juga beaker. Okay, let's uh, look closer to the measuring cylinder and beaker. Okay, usually we can get a more accurate result when we use the measuring cylinder instead of a beaker. Okay, this is because if you look at the measuring cylinder, okay, or uh, we can call graduated cylinders also. Okay, same meaning. Measuring cylinder and graduated cylinder. Okay, they are divided using a different scale. Okay, they are the skala dekat sini. So, you need to determine the scale before attempting to measure. Okay, let's look uh, closer at the measuring cylinder and also the beaker. Okay, between a 60 and 70, there are scales here. So, we can get more precise reading. Okay, more precise reading of the volume of the liquid. Okay, compared to the beaker, we have here 20, 40. Okay, between uh, 20 and 40, we have uh, 30. Okay, 20, 30, 40. 40, 60, di tengah-tengah ni we have uh, 50 ok, di tengah-tengah kita ada 50 ok, tapi nak dibandingkan dua ni measuring cylinder is more accurate 
we can get more precise reading. Lim, Langi and Aisha measure the volume of the carton of milk. They look at these uh, three friends. They get different reading. Okay, they get different reading. Lim get uh, 210 milliliters and then Langi 190 milliliters and Aisha exactly 200 milliliters. So why they have uh, the different reading? Kenapa bacaan mereka semua tak sama? Okay, you look at their position of eyes. Okay, tengok uh, kedudukan mata mereka. Semua di kedudukan yang berbeza. So, which one is correct? Who has the correct volume reading and why? So, the correct reading was taken by Aisha because the position of her eyes is at the level of the meniscus. Aisha get 200 milliliters just now. So, Aisha has the correct volume reading because... The position of her eyes is at the level of the meniscus. What is meniscus? The meniscus is the curve on the surface of the liquid in a container. So this is meniscus. Okay, curve on the surface of the liquid in a container. So, these are the steps to measure the volume of liquid by using measuring cylinder. The first step, you need to place the measuring cylinder on a flat surface. Okay, letakkan measuring cylinder di atas permukaan yang rata. Number two, pour the liquid into a measuring cylinder. Okay, tuang cecair yang nak diukur tu ke dalam measuring cylinder. And then number three, hold a piece of white paper behind the measuring cylinder. This will help you to get the accurate reading. Okay, because the measuring cylinder is uh, transparent. Okay, jadi mungkin bacaan kita tak jelas. Bila kita letakkan kertas putih ni, dia akan membantu kita untuk mendapatkan bacaan yang lebih jelas. Number four, make sure your eyes is at the same height as level of the liquid. Paras mata kita mestilah sama level dengan cecair yang nak diukur. And then number five, read the level of the liquid at the bottom of the meniscus. Okay, you need to take the reading at the bottom line of the meniscus. So let's try. Okay, the first one. Okay, here 10 and this is 20. So this is the level of the liquid. 10. 11, 12, 13, and 14. So, the answer is 14 milliliters. Okay, you need to read here the bottom line of the meniscus. Number 2. What do you get? 15, 16, 17, 18 milliliters. And number 3. This is 40 41, 42, okay, the bottom line. Next, aha, uh -huh. what is the answer here? Okay, 10, and this is 20, and your eyes should be here, the same level with the bottom line of the meniscus. So, you will get 19 milliliters. Okay, pastikan aras mata berada sama level dengan cecair. Dan kita ambil bottom line of the meniscus. And this one, what do you get? 
This is 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64. So the answer is 64 milliliters. And the last one, 6, and this is 7. Ha, jadi awak kena pastikan dulu berapa skala dia sebenarnya. Okay, skala dia 0 0.1. So this is 6, 6.1. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and 0.6. So, 6.6. .6. Okay? Let's do this science activity book, page uh, 59 and 60. Okay, page 59, measuring the volume of liquids. Number one, tick the apparatus that can be used to measure the volume of liquids. So what are the suitable tools that we need to use to measure the volume of a liquid? You need to tick the correct answers. And then number two, join the dotted lines to show the correct eye position to read the measuring cylinder. So you see the eyes here. Which one is correct? You need to join the dotted lines and then explain your answer. So let's check your answer. The tools that we need to use to measure the volume of liquid. We can use the measuring cylinder and the beaker. And then number two, okay, remember your eyes must be at the same level with the meniscus. So this is the correct answer. Explain your answer. Our position of eyes must be at the level of the meniscus. Next page, a volume of liquids. Rearrange the steps on how to measure the volume of liquid using a measuring cylinder by numbering them 1, 2, 4. Okay, awak kena susun semula langkah-langkah ini dengan menulis nombor 1 hingga 4. Then, write the correct step for each diagram. So, you need to read all the sentences here. Okay, baca semua ayat di sini. Kemudian susun semula step. Okay, langkah yang pertama. I give you one example. The first step. The first step is place the measuring cylinder on a flat surface. Jadi yang mana gambar yang betul? Okay, yang ini. Place the measuring cylinder on a flat surface. So, this is the first step. Okay, langkah yang pertama. So, you do by yourself. Okay, step 2, step 3 and step 4. So, that's all kids. Hope to see you again in our next lesson. Stay safe and Assalamualaikum.